So I have this problem. The soil here is generally not very good for growing any types of vegetables. pH value is too low and uh, whenever I tried I just consistently failed when uh, using the soil straight away as it is here. So what do you do? Well. If it has a low pH value, if it's acidic soil, there's a lot of things, a lot of fixes that you can um, try. For instance, you can add lime, you can add seashells, you can add uh, ashes. Those are kind of supplementation types of techniques. I would prefer to build up the soil and use uh, organic compost, for instance. But, I've heard of another method, and I'm just so intrigued that I decided to try it. It's probably also just one of those supplementation types of methods, but I can't help being uh, fascinated, so I'm going to do an experiment. The method is to use your gut bacteria. The type of bacteria that help you digest your food. You have them in your intestines. It's um, the type of bacteria that you have in, say, fermented foods or slightly fermented foods like yogurt or, say, sauerkraut. Now, what I would like to do is make um, a little experiment where I grow these bacteria and then spray them on the ground and see what kind of work they can do for me in the soil. Also, there's another very interesting thing to know. And this is really good to know because it's something that's not just used for, for soil or plants, but very useful for your body. If you didn't already know, bacteria and fungi are arch enemies. So, you probably have heard that if you have um, a bacterial infection and you're prescribed antibiotics, then afterwards you might have problems with your gut flora and people say, well, you know, you should take some yogurt or some of those good bacteria. Make sure you take them after you've taken antibiotics. And this is because when you take antibiotics, you kill off the bacteria and so you tip the scale in favor of fungi. And that's where you have candida, for instance. So, uh, then if you take these extra bacteria, then you can tip the scale back towards the balance. But you know, taking supplements and trying to tip the scale in favor of one or the other isn't usually the best solution. So I don't really think that um, using the bacteria in my soil will be the best solution, but I just have to try it and see what happens. And so, also, this means that if I should ever have some kind of a fungus epidemia on any of my plants, I could probably just take my Lactobacillus culture and spray that on the plants, straight on the plants and on the soil as well. And that should probably be um, very good for them in the sense that they will not be wasting a lot of energy on trying to protect themselves from the fungi. Instead, they can take that energy and put it into something more useful for them as growth. So it will be a very interesting experiment. Okay, so how do I do it? Well, I went to a local natural pharmacy and there I found Lactobacillus. And now to grow it, 
I decided that it will probably enjoy some coconut water. Now, if you want coconut water, it helps if you have some coconuts. And if you have the, if you want to have the coconuts, you know, sometimes coconut trees are not as tiny as the, these ones behind you. And so the coconuts can be a little bit tricky to get down. But then, if you have help, no problems. Fabio helped me out to get the coconuts. Next step, opening a coconut. take out the coconut water and put it into a jar. To that jar I add my lactobacillus, my bacteria. Now I'm going to have to wait and see if uh, the bacteria will like it there and how they will grow and um, in the future I'll come with an update and I'll let you know how it affects the plants and how it affects the soil if I see any real changes.